Oh, Ravens, if this how y'all gonna start the morning, I'm with, we all with it. We all with it. Keep the good news flowing, man. Like, see, what I thought was gonna happen with Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin. We knew they were practicing this week. Harbaugh said they were practicing this week. So I figured, all right, cool. They're going to stay on IR. They're going to practice because they got a three-week window that they can practice before a decision has to be made for them to come back on the active roster. So I figured, all right, they'll practice this week. They probably ain't playing for the Broncos game. They come through for the Colts game. All good. But the Ravens actually activated both Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin to the active roster. So, <laughs> so them boys, they, they a full go. Well, it's not official official yet, but they practicing and you, you kind of expect like, some guys may be making their 2021 season debut, but we'll see. But my biggest thing, though, with this news, they practicing, cool, don't rush them. Don't rush them. Because the season is a long season. And, and it's actually a longer season because it go, it went from 16 to 17 games. And then, of course, you anticipate – the Ravens making the playoffs as well. Uh, it's obviously not set in stone, but they should. They, they got a good enough team for it. And, again, the same thing we've been saying. They ain't even got all their boys back yet. They ain't even got everybody back yet. So the fact that they've been playing the way that they've been playing, which has been sloppy sometimes because that, a lot of the mistakes that they make, they haven't been playing team keep it clean. So if they just clean up those mistakes, but the fact that they're playing without so many people and they're playing with all those mistakes, it just it lets you know that when people, they start coming back, like these guys are coming back, Rashad Bateman and Maul Boykin. It lets us know like, hey, these Ravens, they could do some stuff, man. They could do some stuff. <clears throat> man. I got to clear my throat. And, and these guys, like, they only make the team better. They only make the team better. Now, Rashad Bateman, he has a lot to prove. So many Ravens fans are excited over the Rashad Bateman draft pick. Who are hyped over it. Said, ooh, we got another route runner. Got another one. And he got some hands, too. How about that? And he's willing to take contact. And he got some underrated speed. How about that? So we were excited about him. Very excited about him. I remember when we was at the open practice and he scored that touchdown on Marlon Humphrey. I was like, let's go. I was just so hyped because it was a beautiful thing seeing him do that. It wasn't beautiful that it happened to Marlon Humphrey, but it was a beautiful thing seeing that. But he has a lot to prove because he hasn't even taken an NFL snap yet. And now he's been out of practice. All, and he's a rookie, too. That's something that's big to remember. Because I know a lot of people, they, they expect Rashad Bateman to come in and play all these snaps. And I, I don't expect that. I don't think it's even fair to expect that. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if Miles Boykin plays more snaps than him. Because Miles, initially, early on, I think eventually, obviously, him being a first-round draft pick, uh, the, the tables will turn. But... I would not be surprised if early on the first game or even the first two games if Miles Boykin plays more snaps than him because Miles Boykin has been here. He's been here. He's familiar with the system, obviously, a lot more than Rashad Bateman is. So one thing I want to tell y'all, just try to temper expectations. I know when you see that 12 on the field, <laughs> but try to temper expectations. Because it's a long season, and he's obviously way behind on a lot. I'm sure you've been studying the playbook and all that, but you can study. You can only study so much till you actually get out there, and it's live. That's a whole nother ball game. But we're glad that he can be a part of the ball game now. So this is just great news, man. And then our boy, 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 boy. Who I remember when Boy Boy made the roster, because I wasn't sure if he was going to make the roster. I tell you, I was thinking, oh, man, this whole hamstring with my boy. Boy Boy, man, 
I, I was worried for him, man. Y'all already know. And I said that. I, I thought he was going to get stashed. Just the way that it was looking, um, I was like, man. But Raven said, nope, you ain't getting stashed. We keeping you. And they kept him, put him on IR, missed the first three weeks. But now he's good. He's healthy. And the Raven, this is what they need. They need health. Now, with Boykin, too, another thing, same thing, temper expectations. I know for a lot of people, the expectations with Miles Boykin are not high. Um, but, again, don't sleep on his value, especially to this running game. This running game has been, it's been up and down. I think Lamar Jackson has certainly been keeping it afloat. Because last week, the running backs and offensive line, <laughs> they sure weren't. Um, but don't sleep on Miles Boykin impact in the running game as a blocker. And don't sleep on the potential of him as an impact wide receiver. Not that he's going to go off for like, oh, 50, 60 catches in a year. Because the Ravens offense just simply isn't built like that. They're not built to have like all these different receivers with all a thousand yards here, a thousand yards there, and and then all these uh, get a bunch of catches. No, again, it's about efficiency. And Miles Boykin, especially toward the end of last season, beginning of last season, him and Lamar, same page. No, not at all. But toward the end of last season, there was a lot of progress. So what we hope for is that that progress just. It continues and gets better and better and better and better. Now, it's going to be hard because it's, going, it's only going to be just so many opportunities. Because, you know, Hollywood, he going to get his. You know, Sammy Watkins, he going to get his. You know, with uh, Mark Andrews, he going to get his. Then, of course, Lamar, Lamar is something that he's been doing this year. Them check downs. He's he been seeing them uh, those, those running backs passing them a lot more than he did before. So he's been doing that too. So they're all gonna get theirs. So with Bateman and then Bate, yeah, then Bateman too. Cause again, you know that he's gonna end up eventually starting to get more play time than Miles Boykin. Not right away, but eventually. So we just we just want Miles Boykin to continue to remain efficient. And again, gotta give him a huge shout out because Miles Boykin, not many targets. Primarily used as just a blocker. But, and they, they value him for that. You could tell they value him a lot. Because if they didn't value him, they would have put him on IR or cut him. But with Miles Boykin, now you never hear not one complaint. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. And, and I know we said that before a couple of days ago, but it, that's something that's important to think about. You never hear this dude complain. And you, you could. He could complain. Like, man, I ain't getting no passes my way. He could come on social media or something. And be like, all oh, y'all talking all that mess about me. Like, what, what am I supposed to do when the ball don't come my way that often? What, what am I supposed to do? He don't do none of that. He just take it in stride. He keep doing what he's doing and keeps it moving. And you got to respect that about Boykin, man. So whether you like him, you don't like him, you like it. Well, I know it's not a personal thing with anybody, but whether you like his game or you don't like his game, you, you got you to gotta respect his demeanor. And how he goes about stuff. Now, I know um, it's funny. Ravens were doing, I think it was a play 60 thing the other day. Uh, I know Tristan Colon Castillo was out there. Uh, Josh Bynes was out there. And Josh Bynes was like, man, I just got back to the team. Y'all already got me doing these play 60s? But, um, and then uh, Miles Boykin was out there too. And Miles Boykin was out there coaching the kids up and stuff, having fun with them. And that's important. That's important to do that, man, because kids, they, they are everything, man. Um, but it was nice to see him out there. I know some, somebody hit me up there. was like, hey, Miles Boykin, you're looking healthy. You're looking healthy. And I guess to the Ravens, he was looking healthy enough because, boom, he's back officially. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Ravens, we love y'all, and we appreciate y'all. I'm just checking to see if we got any more good news because the good news just been coming in. It's been coming in. And let me just read it one more time officially from the Ravens. Because it's just, I know this is a time that a lot of people have been waiting for. But the Ravens activated wide receivers Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin from injury reserve, allowing them to retake the field for today's practice. And you know, when they have the presser, 
for whoever, whoever speak, you know, Harbaugh gonna speak it, whoever else. The question for Harbaugh, so Harbaugh, how did Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin look in today's practice? And I love that Harbaugh can, uh, something that he said before, I love that it doesn't relate to these two guys anymore. Because something that Harbaugh said, he said, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about injuries. I ain't talking about injuries anymore. But it's a beautiful thing that these two guys, Rashad Bateman and Boykin, they ain't got nothing to do with injuries anymore because they're not hurting. They're back. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I, I did see a lot of you all's uh, messages in the comments and stuff. So I appreciate it, man. I appreciate y'all support. Seriously, man. Seriously. For real. Um, love y'all. Y'all stay up, man. Y'all keep going. Y'all keep pushing. Stuff is getting rough. Keep pushing. Because if, if stuff is rough, it can only get better, right? It can only get better. So keep your heads up, man. We out.